shame can feel like a weighting, a heavy cloak with this sticky, icky feeling and a contraction away from life, away from others, trying to hide and withdraw, disappear, not be seen. And it can really have a limiting effect on our capacity to express our authentic voice and the inspiration of our soul into the world. A lot of times shame originates from experiences where that authentic voice, our feelings of life, our natural impulses or needs, or what we're truly inspired about is met with some form of violence, whether that violence is moralistic judgments or a physical or sexual violence or an emotional energetic toxicity that's directed towards us. And in experiences like that, it can be imprinted as there is something wrong with us or not enough or too much or bad. And so when that kind of message gets coupled with the natural movement of our authentic expression, it can create <clears throat> a kind of confusion, a kind of wires crossed experience internally, and a distrust of that natural expression and inner voice coming into connection. So, how do we unwind those imprints of shame, which can come from childhood and be woven into the sense of self in the world? And they can also come from experiences socially, culturally, in our education system or in our society where there is this group think and shaming of certain choices of expression with the also added element of the threat of some kind of loss of belonging or the threat of punishment. So shame and fear can be a dynamic together because there can be an intentional shaming to affect behavior. So it seems important to me that we actually bring the light of awareness into these places in us individually and as well as awareness into how that mechanism of fear and shame can be operating in the larger social collectives that we're a part of. So in order to undo the sort of cloaking of our light, it can be really helpful to be in relation with others where there is that shared awareness and the capacity to really hold and meet those feelings of shame and fear with loving compassion, acceptance, and kindness in order to undo the grip that that has in the subconscious mind and our mode of operating, our um, pathway of 
what is moving us, what is affecting our choices, and the freedom to be in that full authentic expression of our soul inspiration and listening to that as what moves us. So it seems key to be growing community where there is that shared capacity so that we can accelerate our power to transmute the places where we're carrying those imprints of shame and remember the pathway to our essential divinity so that we can bring forth our unique soul inspiration and gifts and contribute those to growing a harmonious existence on this earth together. And may it be so. Good morning.